Hi there. So um, today we were going to discuss the um, J transform um, and plot this um, using um, MATLAB. So um, in this um, activity, we're concerned about zeros and volts. Okay. So um, before we begin, um, we're going to um, ponder this code made by um, Alfred Jerry. So it says that God is the tangential point between zero and um, infinity. So um, it's a good topic, and it's also or it's a good quote, and also it somehow um, relates to our uh, topic for today. Okay, so let's start. So um, the first um, ag the agenda for today would be first solving the um, x of n into um, z transform and then also plot the zeros and poles using um, MATLAB okay so that's our two objectives for um, in this video okay so um, a quick review so um, poles and zeros so the zeros of Z transform are the values of Z for which X of Z is equal to zero and then the poles of Z transform of Z for which X of Z is equal to infinity so um, this is a rational function so as you can see, um, in, in my code, I'm going to use B for numerator and then um, A for um, denominator. So um, be aware of this format because um, this kind of format is what we're going to um, deal with in um, our code. Okay, so um, next thing, that our example would be this. Determine the pole zero plot for X of N is equal to A of N and then... Uh, use of n okay so um this um graph would be our answer but we wanted to um go this at the same time in uh, in our matlab okay so uh, to start we're going to find the z transform that is written into this okay so a quick review which of these two equations that we're going to use in our matlab so um, the correct answer would be this one, okay? Because um, remember that um, it should be in this form. So um, this one satisfies the um, form that we're going to um, deal in our um, MATLAB code. Okay, so um, in this um, video, um, we're going to have a value of A, which is um, 1. Okay. So that would be um, the value that we're going to use in our um, code. Okay, so now we're going to um, do some um, coding stuff. Okay. okay, and then what we're going to do first is initialize. So again, this is our um, numerator. Okay. Okay. So that is our numerator because um, this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. A is equals to 1 and then negative 1. Remember that our A is equals to 1. So as you can see, I just follow this format 1 and then um, negative 1. That is also um, written in my code. Okay. Now, um, in order to do that, we're going to use the um, function. This is a MATLAB built-in function. So, B and A. So, um, a quick introduction of this um, code is that it plots the zeros specified in the column vector B and the poles specified in column vector A in the current figure window. So the symbol O represents a zero and the symbol X represents a pole. So the plot includes the unit circle for um, reference. So remember that um, we're going to use here a unit circle or the MATLAB um, uses the unit circle uh, format. Okay, so it's expected that our, um, in this one, or the poles would be at the um, end of the circle because um, we've, we've add or we make it one. And since it's a unit circle, so it's expected to fall there. Okay, 
So we're going to evaluate now the um, selection. Okay. So um, as you can see, um, this is the um, results. So um, at zero and then at one. So um, it's the same um, in here. Okay. So that's how you use um, Zplane and also um, using the MATLAB code to pull or to plot a pole and zero um, plottings in the figure. Okay. So that's it. So um, today we learn how to um, use or or plot the um, Z transform, and then using the Z plane in doing that. Okay. So that's it. I'm Jerome, and um, good luck.